Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about fabrication, grading and evaluation of meat. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications. Meat Fabrication Meat cutting or fabrication is the art or skill of separation of carcass into wholesale primal cuts to suit the various requirements of the meat trade. Primal cuts are divided into sub-primals which are further made into retail cuts. Cutting of meat is carried out after the carcass has been cooled for 18 hours or more. Main objectives of cutting meat into wholesale and retail cuts are convenient handling of meat, Smaller cuts are suitable for marinating and cooking. Third one, selection of meat cut or portion as per the requirements of consumers. Essential prerequisite for meat cutting. Carcass should be chilled to an internal temperature of 1 to 2.5 degrees Celsius. Cutting room temperature within 12 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity 70 to 80 percentage cutting equipments and machineries should be made up of stainless and trained and experienced butchers must be employed rules for meat cutting techniques valued primal cuts are separated from the less valued cuts sharp knife should be used for cutting muscular portion manual or mechanized saw should be used for severing the bony structure only limited force should be applied for disjointing wholesale subprimal and retail cuts wholesale and subprimal and retail cuts wholesale means large subdivisions of the carcass that are traded in volume by meat industry next one is a subprimal subprimal cut are subdivisions of wholesale cuts Retailers save the extra cutting step and these pieces can be stored in containers or bags until needed. And the third one is retail cuts. Subdivision of wholesale cuts or carcass that are sold to consumers in ready to cook or eat forms. That is known as retail cut. Wholesale cuts of buffalo beef carcasses. Carcass is divided into right side. The closed and left side open. Each side is subjected to quartering or ribbing. Four quarter and hinge quarter separated by making a cut in between 12th and 13th rib. How to separate the four quarter and hinge quarter? Making a cut between 12th and 13th rib portion. Four quarter, it consists of 51 percentage, is cut between fifth and sixth rib, anterior part which consists of shank, brisket, and tuck, 24 percentage, posterior part which consists of rib and plate, hin quarter cut, it consists of 49 percentage of the total meat, loin, loin, short loin, sir loin. Top and bottom or tenderloin round in 23.5 percentage and flank or navel also consists of also included in hind quarter cut. Wholesale cuts of pork carcass. Pork carcass is divided into two halves right and left sides with kidney and leaf fat on anterior part. That, is, that means rough shoulder is separated from the posterior by cutting between second and third rib. Anterior part, three wholesale cuts that is jaw, boston, butt and picnic shoulder. The remaining part of carcass consists of leg or ham, joint, spare rib side, belly. Wholesale cut of lamb or goat carcass. The carcass is divided into four saddle and hind saddle by cutting between the last two ribs that is the 12th and 13th rib. Four saddle 
consists of 53% of total meat, shoulder, back rib, breast, shank and neck. And the hind saddle 47% which consists of leg, loin, flanks and kidney knot. In the case of poultry, poultry are not classified into wholesale or retail cuts like pork and beef because the carcass size is very small. <coughs> the USDA sets standard for ready to cook chicken and turkey whether they are sold whole or as parts or cuts. Parts can include poultry house, breast, leg thigh, drumstick, wing and tenderloin. Grading of meat, how to grade meats. It is a systematic way to express meat quality and carcass value or sorting into groups according to selected characteristics. Importance. It helps the consumers to purchase assured quality of meat, gives satisfaction over the money spent and enables the consumer to utilize meat most efficiently. It helps, to, helps the producer to certify animal and carcasses for class, quality and condition. Recognize the quality he produce and to produce high grade animals and carcasses. Select the required types according to the needs of the market and consumer. Adopt or design methods and procedures for disposing animals and carcasses. System of carcass or meat grading USDA United States Department of Agriculture According to USDA, there are two types of meat grading palatability or quality grades and the second one is cutability or yield grades quality or palatability grade the factors considered for quality grades are related to palatability and acceptability of meat to consumers factors used to establish palatability or quality grades kind and class maturity marbling firmness or texture color and structure of lean conformation flushing and finish kind and class each species of animal is referred to as a kind Kind is divided into class, age and sex of animals establishes the class. Classes for cattle are heifer, cow, steer, bull and bullock. Class for pigs, boar, sow, barrow and guilt. Then next one is maturity. It is defined as the physiological age of the animal or bird that produce a carcass. Age has a significant effect on tenderness of meat. Meat from physiologically mature animal is less tender than meat from a young animal. Maturity is generally categorized, categorized as A, B, C, D and E. Marbling. What is marbling? It is the intramuscular fat visible when the muscle surface is cut. Marbling is related to the juiciness and flavor and has a positive effect on tenderness of meat. Thus, it is highly desirable in meat cut. Marbling is determined at longest mass muscle at the 12th rib in beef and lamb and 10th rib in the pork. Marbling is categorized into seven levels, slightly abundant, moderate, modest, small, slight, traces and practically devoid. Firmness or texture. It refers to firmness of the muscles. Firmness is evaluated in the flank area of carcass or cut surfaces of the lean meat. It is influenced by the amount of fat that is present in carcass. There are nine levels. Firm, moderately firm, slightly firm, slightly soft, moderately soft, soft, soft and slightly watery. Soft and watery and the last one is very soft and watery. Color and structure of lean. These factors have important effect on the appearance of meat and the only criterion used by consumers to judge the quality of meat. That is the quality of color and structure of lean. Conformation, flushing and finish. Conformation. Proportion of muscle to bone in it. Animals with high muscle to bone ratio show good carcass conformation. Flushing or muscling 
refer specially to the development of skeletal musculature. Finish. It is amount, character and distribution of external, internal and intramuscular fat either in the carcass or in the whole cell cuts. That is known as finish. Cutability or yield grades. What is cutability? The percentage of boneless, closely trimmed retail cuts are known as that is known as cutability. In yield grading, carcasses are categorized on the basis of expected yield of retail cuts. Factors that establish cutability grades are amount of fat, muscle development, and carcass size. Amount of fat. The amount of fat internal, external, and intramuscular has highest effect on retail yield of a carcass than any other factor. In case of poor carcass, back fat thickness is a very accurate indicator of total fat. It is measured at the 10th rib fat. In case of beef and lamb carcass, thickness of external finish of our young isthmus muscle is an indicator. It is measured between 12th and 13th rib. 12th rib fat. Muscle development. In beef, muscle development is measured as loin eye or rib eye area. In lamb carcasses, it is measured on the basis of shape and development of the muscles in the leg region. For pig carcass, 6 degrees of muscle development, very thick, moderately thick, thick, slightly thin, moderately thin and very thin are recognized in grading. Next, the carcass size. Carcass weight is the most widely used indicator of carcass size. Name of quality grades in different animals as per USDA system. Just read it thoroughly. Right side, you can see a small chart grade and percentage yield of four lean cuts. Names of yield grades as per USDA system. Kind, class and grade names. Beef lamb and mutton and pork is also there usda grades for poultry the usda grades for poultry are a b and c grade a means it is highest quality free from defects such as the bruises discolorations broken bones and feathers that is the grade a the first quality one a grade b and grade c poultry are usually used in further processed products where the poultry meat is cut up, chopped or ground. Indian meat grading system According to Bureau of Indian Standards 1995, for beef and buffalo carcasses, six grades based on conformation, finish and quality. Prime, choice, good, commercial, utility, cutter and canners. Sheep and goat carcasses are divided into the main classes based largely upon the age. They are lamb, 12 months or below, yearling mutton, 12 to 20 months, mature mutton, about 20 months. The above three classes are divided into six grades based on conformation, finish and quality of the carcasses or cuts. Prime, choice, good, commercial, utility and cull. Poultry carcasses. The Indian standards divides poultry carcasses into two grades based on conformation, degree of flushing, fat covering, defeathering, cuts and tears, discoloration and freezer burn. Grade 1 and grade 2. Grade 1 means free of deformities, cuts and tears, discoloration and pin feathers. Grade 2. Having slight deformities, cuts and tears, discoloration and pin feathers. Meat carcass evaluation. Three main carcass characteristics forms the basis of meat evaluation. They are conformation of the carcass. It refers to the general build. Next one is finish or fat one. Quality, color and distribution of fat in the carcass. Excessive fat in the carcass lowers its grade. Next quality of meat. Quality includes several factors 
which finally influences the eating quality of cooked meat. Thank you. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications.